So I've never been to Joshua Tree National Park. It's my first time. Um, I've done a lot of research online uh, about different places to photograph. I also have a, uh, a map with me and I've scouted out some different areas in the park. My focus is gonna be the Joshua trees themselves and the rock formations. Um, so, so I'm definitely not a master of compositions. Um, I don't know if I ever will be, but I'm certainly a novice and I've got a lot to learn. Uh, but this is great practice for me. Um, I have some business in the LA area, so I was able to come down a, a day early and make the most of it. So, on my way to Joshua Tree National Park. Clouds roll by glittering I never thought they would let me in A fading light, a distant car Okay, Joshua Tree. I've made my way off the road a little bit to try and find a composition in these rocks here. Um, it's not the uh, weather that I had planned on here in Joshua Tree. It's actually uh, sprinkling rain at the moment. <laughs> but, uh, so, um, I think I maybe found something with some old wood. Uh, there's, a, there's a piece of, uh, of dead wood here um, and a Joshua Tree in the, uh, that in the mid-ground that the, uh, the wood focuses on with a leading line. So, I'm gonna try and get this set up and uh, let you know what I have. Listen, learn, a slight state of hope that you will return. It's what I got in the summer turn into fall. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this. I hear some people, so hopefully they, they don't get in my shot. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna. I have a two-stop soft edge neutral density grad filter, just to uh, cut the light. There's some interesting atmosphere, but it's pretty pretty uh, gray. Um, I'm hoping to pull out some detail with the neutral density grad filter. Um, and I'm gonna focus stack this. Uh, they have the rocks in the background, and then the Joshua tree in the midground, and this this uh, dead wood in the foreground. And so I'm gonna focus on each of those. I'll take the shot now. But I will never be here if it wasn't true So let me be the one to hold Okay, um, I'm just down the road from where I was before. I'm between uh, Sheep Pass and Cap Rock. Um, and I liked what the uh, sky was looking like to the uh, south and to the east. And so I decided to, uh, to stop here and, and see if I could find anything. I looked at some dead wood over here, but I didn't really see any composition there that was interesting to me. But I, I did find these uh, group of Joshua trees here. Um, it's a group of actually there's one center tree and then it's uh, framed on both sides by uh, a group of three trees and a group of two trees. I um, mean there's some interesting uh, play with the lines in the center of the frame and uh, so I, I thought it would look good and, uh, and maybe play well with the kind of ominous look in the sky. Uh, so I'm at uh, I'm manual here um, F13 just for the depth of field. Um, I'm at about 35 millimeters, uh, 1 80th of a second. And so uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this shot. I do have a cable release just to prevent any uh, any shaking. Beautiful. Devil will never be welcome here at all. The sky is gray. I guess that's what it takes. Well, I was about ready to give up. Um, 
the sky has been pretty overcast and gloomy all day. It does have a little bit of character, but uh, not much else. No light really. Uh, so I was about ready to give up, but I do see some uh, hint of some uh, sun breaking through to the to the west, and so uh, we'll see. I'm going to walk over to the ridge here and uh, see if there's maybe an opportunity to break out the long lens uh, for a telephoto shot or maybe two. But I won't know until I get there. see behind me that the uh, the light really never materialized um, there's a hint of light in the distance maybe you can see it on the camera and uh, it's too bad because uh, I'll show you around this place is uh, just beautiful some evening light would uh, would work well with these uh, rock formations so um, anyway I think I'll I'll still break out the 70 to 200, and uh, just in the remote uh, chance that some light breaks through in the distance uh, could make for could make for an interesting composition. Um, but I'm not holding my breath. But uh, well, we'll see. Well, I've got the 70 to 200 on the camera, uh, waiting on the light. But as you can see. Not much happening, unfortunately. Uh, the sky's been kind of ominous and gray all day, flat light. Uh, not a lot of color or, and uh, not a lot of light uh, contrast. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately. But I had a great time uh, exploring the park. It's my first time to Joshua Tree. And what an amazing place. But uh, we'll see what the morning holds. Um, I'm, I'm pretty also. I'm also sure that uh, there's not going to be any astrophotography or star photography tonight uh, with this cloud layer. But we'll see what the morning holds, and uh, hopefully get some color. Light, 